Hi, I'm Angelo Ferenzi, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of the Alumni and Friends of Belmont High School uh, Scholarship Committee. Uh, today we have, uh, along with Foster Wright, who was the retired uh, principal at uh, Belmont High School. He was there for 25 years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a while since he retired, too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, and we have with us today uh, Leslie Foley and Karen Smith, both graduates of uh, Belmont High School. And we're going to talk to them a little bit about their experiences at Belmont High and how that helped influence their, uh, their careers uh, since they graduated, I guess, sometime in the 80s. So uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Foster? Well, you know, w the other thing that we wanted to talk to you about uh, the community is uh, the reason we're doing this is that we're trying to uh, change the model of our fundraising. Um, in the past, we've relied mostly on um, alumni uh, and that's worked quite well. We've raised close to a million dollars doing that. That was our and, original goal, right. I think, to, yeah. and, and, uh, we're and, approaching that. And right, and now we would like to reach out to the community. And the reason that we're thinking that way is a lot of other communities do it that way, and they raise significant amounts of money through the people who actually live in town currently. So we're, we're hoping that people will look at this show and see some of the distinguished graduates and realize <laughs> what a good thing they have here, <laughs> and that they would probably would like to contribute to the next generation of youngsters who are heading off to very expensive experience. And so we lo like to think that we're helping with that. Right. Uh, just as a, a bit of information, last year the, the alumni and friends gave uh, close to 40, uh, well actually 40 million, uh, 40,000 40, <laughs> 40, dollars in scholarships. Uh, I think there were 10 or 11 scholarships at uh, uh, $4,000 each. So uh, we, we are the largest uh, contributor to the scholarship, uh, to the scholarships at Belmont High School. Uh, we have two types of scholarships. We have scholarships which are uh, given out by the Alumni Association itself. We donate it to the high school. The high school picks the candidates uh, that receive the scholarships. Uh, but if uh, any particular group, like the class of uh, uh, 59, I think, uh, or 58, uh, if they've contributed at least $50,000, then they can give out their own scholarship as well. And they do it the same, they use the same routine. They give the scholarship out uh, in, their name. in their name, but uh, the scholarship uh, committee of selection committee will, at the high school are the ones that determine who the who the recipients of the scholarship are. So, uh, you know, forty thousand dollars a year is uh, uh, is significant. And and uh, as uh, Foster mentioned, we we've uh, uh, we, we are approaching a million dollars now in our in our fund, and uh, now we're shooting for two million. Right. And uh, that may seem like seem like a lot of money, but uh, some of the communities have. Uh, uh, five million or ten million dollars in mm -hmm. the scholarship committee. So, uh, you know, we want to try and get Belmont up there in in in, in uh, 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 with a number that's similar to to, to the other communities. Um, yep. Yep. Education in Belmont is very very important, and uh, um, and 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 so obviously we want to be able to to keep abreast of, of the, the other communities in all areas, including the scholarship recipients. Right. And one of the things that we're focusing on today is the uh, role and the function of the fine and performing arts and how important it is to high schools. And I know that both of you, I'm preaching to the choir here, I know <laughs> that. But I, I think that, you know, in this day and age, we're seeing pressure on, on uh, budgets. Um, and you can look across the state and see examples. And sometimes the very first thing to go yeah. Are, are, are the music programs or the theater programs? And I wanted to talk to you about how important that was to you, to your growth and your fundamental, what, even what you did after you graduated, and and how it, uh, you know. And I'd like you to talk about some of the people that were important to you in that process. And uh, we'll start with you, Leslie, and see what. Sure. Yeah. Well, I think you know, like like so many students uh, in in the fine and performing arts. Um, that was my home. The band room was my home. Uh, you know, the orchestra was my family, and, and the whole performing arts department. We really, it was, it was our village. And so I think um, just finding a place where we really belonged and, and were accepted. It was a real safe space. It was a place to um, express ourselves. And um, so, so I think, and especially for high schoolers, where social pressure, you know, yeah. even back then <laughs> in the yeah. 80s, yeah. Yeah. Um, what before social finish, media. Me, what year did you finish? 83. 1983. And, yeah. and you, Karen, were uh, 80, 1982. 1982. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, and uh, and so I think you know now I, I, it's it's just exponential. I think the the pressure. Um, well, it's interesting because it, it did sort of lead you to what you did in life it as did. well. Yeah. It did. No, and I can you remember some? Yeah, I'm sure you can remember some of the teachers that were really important to you. Well, Mr. Pavisaris, for yeah. sure, yeah. Was, was our Wonderful. conductor, and um, and I actually remember when he started, he was very yes. new. Same. Yeah. Yep. Um, he was he was a kid. He was like a, a yeah. when I, and when I think back on it, when he started. He was so young. Yeah. I think we just had absolutely no idea, but it was wonderful because we were learning together. Yeah. Um, and he really, um, and I think he really treated us that way. I he mean, was I think a very, he was, he's a very good human being. Very good. And human a absolutely. very good musician as well. Yeah. And he, uh, I think he came to us from Lexington. We stole him from Lexington. Yes. And, uh, yeah. And yeah. he's a wonderful, wonderful person. Yes. And he still is. Yeah. yeah. No, he still is. Yeah. 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 I went to visit him last year ah. at uh, Berkeley School of Music, or he's still a professor. He's Dr. Pavasaris now. Yeah. Um, and that was just absolutely amazing. I brought my daughter with me, um, and he's he was the same warm, generous, yeah. Yeah, yeah, wonderful man. So, yeah. you know, like Leslie said, he had a huge impact on yeah. I music. considered him as a yeah. friend I mean because I was just starting out back in that time frame too right and we used to laugh with each other and we'd say well how are we going to get the money for that <laughs> yeah, right. say, well, you don't worry about that that's how I have to worry about yeah. that and so but he was such a good person to work with yeah, yeah. I I think it's I think it, it amazing people I think of um B.J. Williams yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. in yeah. the theater department oh, yeah. iconic yeah yep. yeah and I got to know her, and I made the tragic error of telling her that I had actually acted in college. Oh. <laughs> well, this gets to be very... Yeah. So I'm minding my own business, sitting in my office, and BJ never just walked in. She swept yes. in. Yeah, that's so true. she sat down, and she put both hands on my desk yeah. and said, you're going to be in the play. This is a senior oh, class play. Oh, the senior class play. Yeah. You're right, yeah, This right. is 1981. Yep. It was um, MASH. MASH. Yeah. And I said, wow. I'm, looking, yeah. what a memory. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for a place to run. And she said, yeah. one of the students has just gotten really sick, has to have his appendix out. Oh, my gosh. And I said, oh. And I said, small part, right? She said, spear chucker. I said, that's not a small part. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, here are your lines. Yeah. And she left. Right. <laughs> and, oh, and she turned around, can you be in, in the theater this afternoon at 2.30? Yeah. I'm looking and I'm saying, oh, yeah. didn't it sound like I had a choice? Yeah, right. That's so not a question. So off I went, and, uh, and I was in the, the first yeah. senior class mm, play, yeah. which was a wonderful way to get to know the kids. Yeah, absolutely. And when I, uh, when I retired, I was in the last senior class play, too. It was a farce. It was just so funny, and I played a funny role. But I only bring that up is to say how important those people that, you know, were part of that program were mm -hmm. to all of you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and Tom O'Halloran oh. and Shirley right. Lehman and yeah. Doc, too. Oh, yeah. Doc, yep, yep. Doc Mickelson. And it was all yep. articulated yeah. from the elementary schools to the middle yes. school yeah. to the high school. Yes. Well, you know, and that, that started way back when because mm -hmm. in my right. senior year at Belmont High School, 1960, we did Sabrina Fair. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. And, yeah. and uh, Ruth Zimmerman, yeah. uh, who was an English teacher at the time, was the, was the uh, uh, directing it. Yeah. Right? And uh, I wasn't an actor, but I was handy with my hands, and I became the stage manager. Yeah, yeah. that's what happened. And we yeah. ended up doing all of the scenery and building yeah, the flats, yeah. et cetera. Yeah, yeah. And uh, in my yearbook, I mean, I, it was like two months of, of, of my involvement with that group. But you know, that's what they—that's what the hot, one of the highlights of right. my, yeah. my uh, high school career was that was that senior class play. And actually, my my two older boys. Uh, both went to Belmont High, yeah. and uh, both of them were in were in the senior place yeah. as well. So it, yeah. it 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 really brings people in that are yeah. not an integral part of that community, mm -hmm. but yep. you know, but yeah. do want to get brings the class together. Brings the class together. What Leslie said way. is really important. It is a place. You hope that what I hoped as a principal that every youngster in that school would find a place. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes it's theater, and sometimes it's sports. Right. Yep. Yep. Sometimes it's. Uh, you know, other things. But the more of those places you have for youngsters to go, the better that school is. Because mm -hmm. yeah. they can feel like they're known yeah. and that they're part of something, you know, that's larger than themselves, perhaps. Karen, you, yes. I know that you you went to Emerson. Yes, I went to Emerson. And so you were following on your... I just kind of, yeah. 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 Um, Tell yeah. me a little bit about how this sort of 
your experience at the high school influence that decision? Well, I mean, I think Belmont High School at the time, and I hope still now, um, it sort of opens up doors for yeah. you. So you want to be, you're curious about something, yeah. you want to continue with that. And I had such an amazing experience in the orchestra, yeah. playing music, being in the performing arts company with BJ, and uh, I was a backstage person, yeah. um, you know, crew and all that. And it, it pushes you to say, hey, this was really cool. Yeah. And I want to make something out of it. Yeah. And these are neat people. Um, so I went and I studied creative writing and TV yeah. <laughs> and mass communication. Um, and that has segued into it. Now my daughter is, you know, at BU for yeah, lighting I've design. I've been following that mm -hmm. on Facebook. Right. She's phenomenal. She's, yeah, <laughs> she's so amazing. Super talented. Super talented, you know. And, and she did, you know, she got that through being in the theater, being in the orchestra. She played cello. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's amazing how it just segues. But into you know what aspects. I like about what you've done too, Karen, because I've followed what you do. She's kind of amazing in Sudbury. But you've actually done the same thing that the significant Palms people and the mm. theater parents mm -hmm. yep. did here. Okay. Because yep. I, I have to tell you, no, no reflect on the uh, the uh, <laughs> selectmen and. <morning. laughs> but we were always out there trying to raise money to yeah. keep this stuff going. Yeah. And we did, and I, I can remember. The uniforms for the marching band, mm -hmm. I, I mean, for the madrigals. Right, I know. That was, yeah, that yeah. was all stuff that was not in the budget uh -huh. that we got from You have parents. to raise separately. We yeah. raise money separately. Yeah. yeah, so it, and I hope that's, I'm pretty sure that's probably still going on. I hope Yeah, well, I'm, I'm board chair of um, Lincoln Sudbury Friends of Music, which is a nonprofit, and we support the music department at Lincoln Sudbury High School. It's like Palms. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So our objective is to raise money, to support the program, to keep it going because there are cuts all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I work with the music teachers, it would in turn work with the students. Yeah. And that um, all had its, it, its start. It, it, right. Here. It, uh, yeah, it did. Yeah. I mean, for me yeah. to, I was asked to be in this position and I said, absolutely. You knew how it worked because mm -hmm. you yeah. watched it. Because, you know, the funding, I'm not going to get into that, but you know, so much goes to other yeah. things, and what we call FATA, which is the fine arts. Yeah, um, they don't receive as much funding, so it's so important to yeah. keep. No, I agree. You know, yeah. keep if it going. I might, could each of you explain what you've done since high school? <laughs> you, were at, you were at MSN. It's been a long time. How did you just get some, uh, some well, they graduated and and I made a speech. Yeah, it's been all downhill from there. Where did you go to school? Leslie? I went to Princeton. Princeton, yeah. okay. And after Princeton? So after Princeton, I actually, so in some ways, I, I had the inverse um, mm -hmm. experience as Karen in that um, I think I had done so much music in high school, not just at the high school itself, but all around Boston and, you know, it was extremely active. Um, that I actually wanted to explore sort of how the other other students actually lived, you know, mm -hmm. and so I so I deliberately decided to go to a very what, academic. Yeah, what instrument? What instrument? Cello and piano. Cello and piano. And how about you? Uh, violin in the orchestra, and now I play guitar as well. Oh, okay. So, cool. yeah. 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 so uh, then I went into, ahead. oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, but then I, you know, halfway through school, um, I realized that actually there's a way for me to um, sort of combine my passions, and so I decided to go into arts administration. Um, back in the 80s, it wasn't really a defined field, per se. It was yeah. something people sort of just stumbled into. Um, so I, I sort of had to craft my own professional um, pathway. But, um, but more or less, I've been doing that, been, been in the arts, and, the arts and nonprofit and education space. Do you, do you for, still perform? Something years. I do not. Yeah. I'm married to a professional musician. Uh -huh. um, and so I feel like that's... That's, I can live vicariously yeah, for right. him. <laughs> my daughter is a music major. Um, she was a percussionist at University of Maryland, and wow, our son plays music. So it's very much still in the family. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's great. Yeah. And how about you, Karen? Uh, well, I graduated college, and I went into a me medical publishing company, editing and things like that. And then I did graphic design. Um, and then you know we had our daughter, became a full time mom um, to raise her. And I play music on the side in a group. Uh, Pre-COVID, oh. I was, you know, playing a little more. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But things kind of fall apart. But now I'm back into playing um, and running Lincoln Subway Friends of Music. So. Who do you play with? Uh, it's a Scottish fiddle group. Oh. And so that way I can play fiddle if I want or I can <laughs> play, play the guitar, guitar with it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's wonderful. wonderful. That is yeah. wonderful. What, tell me a little bit about... Um, We've talked about the music and the theater programs. 
But there must have been other teachers in the school that you had that were that made a significant difference. I always, I, you know, when I interviewed teachers to hire them, I would always say, I want you to visualize the teacher that had the biggest impact mm. on you. And then, and then I'd say, tell me why. And if they yeah. told me the right answer, they could get hired. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's a great question. Yeah, it is. But tell me about teachers that had an impact on you. Oh, there were, there actually there were so many. Yeah, I know. Um, Paul Carey, I had yeah. him. Oh, what a one! He just passed year. away recently. I know. Mm. He I know. was well into his 90s. Yeah. He was he, such a close friend of mine. He was he such was, a nice man. Oh, the best um, human being in the world. And, you know, uh, actually, Mr. Mullemeister. Oh, the physics, physics. Physics, right. and I had him for IPS science. I had uh, Mr. Mullemeister as a phys, uh, physics professor at yeah. Wentworth. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. He, was, he was at Wentworth wow. before he came to oh, wow. before really? went to Bellman High School. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Was, and he was the toughest yeah. teacher I had at Wentworth. Yeah. He was, he was absolutely. You know, very, very tough, but very caring at the yeah. same time. He had a wry sense of humor. Yeah. He did. And you know what I really, what I liked about him was I had him freshman year, yeah. or IPS science, I think it was called, um, and everyone was afraid of him. He was, you know. He's so big. He was big and, and <laughs> rough, and he made these jokes, and no one got it. But, he looked like he'd just been in a street fight. Yeah, <laughs> he was just this tough guy, and, you know, okay. And But I did some kind of... I can't remember what it was, some kind of after school science thing where I was helping yeah. science teachers set up labs for the next day or something like this. And I worked with him. And at first I thought, mm, okay, this, I better behave myself and ask the right questions. And he was absolutely a completely different person. He's he was the kindest person. Mm. Very he kind. told me about his son and playing basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he, and I just had my elevated yeah. respect for him after that. Yeah. Um, I know he passed a couple of years ago. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, and Mr. Fitzpatrick, Kevin Fitzpatrick for... Yeah, and he's, he's passed as and well. he's passed well. Yeah, um, he, you so had him in biology probably. Biology or, and anatomy and physiology. Anatomy and physiology. Um, Leslie, yeah. teachers that made a difference for you. So, like Karen, there there were several, but the one that really stands out as, as changing things for me was Bonnie Rettman. Oh, oh she's yeah. the favorite. She was... Tough as nails. She was yeah. tough as nails. <laughs> But she really made me feel seen. Like she, yeah. she treated yeah. me like an adult. Yeah. Um, and she took me seriously. And yeah. that's a real gift. A I brilliant think. teacher. Brilliant. Yeah. Teacher. Brilliant teacher. Brilliant teacher. Yeah. She yeah. was a close friend as well. We, I'll never forget. I have a funny story. When the build, uh, one of the blizzards we had, she her car got stuck in the parking lot, and I had an old beat up truck, yeah. and she lived, I, I think in Sudbury or somewhere out oh, that okay. way. Yeah. She said, "Can I get a ride home with you?" Well, we, we couldn't get onto 128, so we did the back roads. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Hours. <laughs> yeah. But Ouch, she was, yeah. we were talking, she's just wonderful, just a wonderful person. And, uh, you know, she retired just before I did. Mm. Yeah. Really? But okay. she, mm. she um, was a very special teacher. Yeah. 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 There are so many teachers yeah. from our time Yeah, there. they were really. I Others, mean, I could go on You, you on. can think, yeah. Um, they, they, they watch the show, and they'll think... We, we, we were remembered. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Mrs. Mandel, Alice Mandel. Yeah. Um, She's in your, she lives in Sudbury. She lives in Sudbury, yep. yep. Math teacher. Yep, math teacher. Um, yeah, well, there was a, one teacher my freshman year. I don't think he stayed too much longer, but William Hayes. Yeah. He taught yeah. English. He, was a, uh, he did. Um, uh, he, he was a basketball coach early on. And then okay, he, yeah. Yeah, and then he, he uh, either retired Somewhere or, or, along the way, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. he owned a restaurant or something. Yeah, yeah he did. That. He did. But Might he was great because he, <laughs> would, <laughs> yeah, right. he would sit on his desk. Yeah. And we knew class was going to be really good when we'd come in and sit on his desk. Yeah. And he did, of course, the curriculum, but he also told us about life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he told us one time how he was redoing a floor in his cellar and he didn't think ahead. And he, you know, wedged himself into a corner. And the floor was way, it was something, you know, refurnishing it or something. And his wife had to give him sandwiches through the window, and, you know. But it was a life lesson, you know. Yeah, no, he, he, he's yeah. an interesting, yeah. interesting uh, person and a good teacher. He was a good teacher, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, for me, it's sort of nostalgic to think back to those times. I mean, just recently, I don't know if you remember Donnie White. He I just did. passed yes. away. Yes, yeah. 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 I know. And he, um, I didn't his, realize his history. Oh, he was amazing. I, I didn't know that. I I just, to no me, idea. he was just Coach White. I he didn't, was the quarterback at Notre Dame. And, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Claire Austin, who was one of our oh, assistants. Oh, yes. my gosh. Yeah, Claire taught yeah. In, the, uh, in, in the humanities program. Yeah. 
and um, I, I actually, she called me and said that he'd passed away. So oh. I, but uh, Claire was also an assistant principal toward the end of her career. You probably oh, didn't, okay. know didn't, know didn't know that. She's a very, very wonderful person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it, it's quite a quite a place, Belmont High School, it and it really has been is. for a long time. It really is. It yeah. really is. It and it's is. very worthwhile giving money to support the kids that go to school there. Well, I, if if uh, in fact, if you go to our website, you can you can uh, it'll it'll be on the the screen. You can uh, see who the scholarship recipients have been, and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know where they've gone to school, and so forth. And in fact, you can uh, also uh, tap into some of the earlier yep. interviews that we've done. Yeah. We've done a bunch with yep. with, uh, uh, with various graduates, and it really is uh, it's fascinating. Um, uh, when 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 the committee meets, we talk about uh, you know who we might be able to get in to talk to us. Yeah. And um, it, it's uh, you know there are some out there, some some people out there that just have, have had fabulous careers, yeah, fabulous true. careers. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's a scholarship being raised now for Thomas Noonan. Noonan, right? Uh, he was a world-renowned um, Sky skydiver. Yeah. Uh, huh. Amazing, and uh, it sounds kind of he he was probably one of the best, well-liked youngsters in his class. He. Um, he and his mother and his sister came up to New Hampshire to visit me the, I think about six or seven months before he died. Um, he didn't die in an accident. It was just, a, uh, you know, something happened and he passed away. But they're trying to raise uh, the $50,000 $50, to have a new name scholarship. So I'm just taking the opportunity. If you knew Thomas, uh, uh, you, you might consider giving some money in his name. Even if you didn't know Thomas, I can tell you that he was absolutely superb human being. And uh, it's very, very, very worthwhile to give someone in his name, I think. Yeah, I think one of the other in-name scholarships is Mel Wenner. Mel Wenner is so, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we have a, a, yeah. s a separate scholarship that, that's given out by, yeah. uh, by Mel, Mel Wenner's mm -hmm. and Now, and Mel they, had retired by the time, I, but I have to tell you, he had a, 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 a dog, a Labrador retriever, <laughs> and he would come across in his 80s. He'd come across the field and he'd be throwing uh, of javelin, uh -huh. and then he would come into my office. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Right? <laughs> and then he would come into my office right. with his dog and say, "Where's the coffee?" <laughs> <laughs> so he was, he, but he was loved by your classmates. Oh yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Yeah. He had, a, he was very influential with uh, uh, General Foley. Yeah, uh, General with, Foley is a Medal of Honor winner. They graduated mm -hmm. from Belmont High School in nineteen fifty nine. Fifty nine, right. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and you uh, had him on the show. We had him on a well, yeah. on the show. We yeah. did, we did a sort of it was a combined show we did with uh, the Veterans Association, and the the alumni and friends of Belmont High School. Yeah. Mm, nice. Sort of did a twofer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, had I, an interview with him. He had just written a book and and uh, uh, was uh, the commandant at uh, head of uh, West Point. West Point yeah. uh, was Congressional Medal of Honor, of Honor awardee and uh, just a phenomenal career. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and and he. Uh, uh, had particularly focused on on Mel Wenner as being the the person that was most influential in his life, right. and in fact, when when he received the Congressional Medal of Honor, he Mel Wenner went down to the celebration. Oh, so it was, it was wow. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it, it uh, you know we've got some we've got some phenomenal graduates, some yeah. absolutely phenomenal. And you know one of the things that for me, that sometimes you just don't know what people have done. You know, I think of all the, you know, the kids, if you use the number 300 times 25, whatever that comes out to be, that's a lot of people out there. And a lot of them are quietly being very, very successful. And you, so in some ways, we, we would like to be in contact with those people mm, and bring right, them into right. the show. And we've done some really inter yeah. interesting interviews. We had two pediatricians, and it turned out we didn't even know it. One was older than the other, and both women, and they... Um, it turned out they looked and you were my you know, supervisor during my internship. Oh. <laughs> wow. so, do you remember that? Yeah. Small yeah. world, very, yeah. very small. It's a small world, world. yeah. Well, just, if we're talking about arts, we also, I think Belmont High School has really contributed a lot of um, leaders in the in the art space yeah. Mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, you know, Jeff Poulos. Right. Uh, yeah. Right. So, Jeff, yep. if you're out there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. He recently uh, changed positions, but for a long time yeah. he was um, the executive director of is it full? Um, I, I can't even remember the it name. It was, yeah, it was yeah. A, essentially a, um, a theater philanthropy wow. organization. Right. I remember um, Jeff. He was a yeah. tall, yep. yeah, yes. dark haired, yep. Yep. wonderful 
young person. Go yeah, ahead. but professional Go musicians, prof professional actors. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. we have a, a, a fellow that was uh, in our class, class of '60, Kenny Tiger, mm -hmm. who uh, ended up in Hollywood yeah. and has been in hundreds of movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. He he. Um, you, you, you hear the name and you never register it, but if you you know, watch a show he was on, oh, that's uh, yeah. Barney Miller, he was on a whole bunch oh, of stuff, great. but he, you know, and he, he had significant speaking roles, but it, never to the type that he was the star in the mm. movie, Yeah. okay, yeah. and so I, you know, I, I sort of say he's the most unrecognizable, recognizable yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, actor, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but okay. in, in our, in a, you know, in our class, we, I think we ended up having four players um, that ended up playing professional Sports. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, Terry Swanson, who played for the Patriots, yeah. and Wilbur Wood, of course, and Bel uh, played for uh, Belmont uh, for uh, 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 the yeah. Red Sox. Then he could graduate. He was drafted by the Red Sox out of high school. Ended up playing in Chicago. Had, yeah. a, had a lustrous career in Chicago. He's a knuckleball, right? Yes, he was. Uh, he's <laughs> amazing. He is an amazing guy. All right. Uh, but. Uh, uh, Dougie Linehan, I think, uh, was a catcher for the Mets. I mean, yeah. there was a, a yeah. bunch of a bunch of kids of that, from that alums. class that, yeah. that 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 really did extremely extremely well, um, you know, after after high school. So, it um, it, it, uh, it I really have a very very soft spot in my heart for Belmont High. It, yeah. it, it just is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do too. It, it, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> tremendous yeah. amount, yeah. tremendous amount of uh, influence well, in, in in my life. So. We're uh, we're wrapping it up, and uh, you know, it, it's always wonderful for me to do this because I get to visit. Was I think the last time I saw most of you was when you were eighteen. Yeah, and I was uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, almost yeah. ten years was, ago. Yeah, ten <laughs> right. years ago. So it goes by it, like that. It's just, it's just for me, it's just a, you know an extra special thing to be here and to be to get to see you guys and uh, reminisce. And, yep. and to talk about how important the school is, and again, we would like you to contribute to the scholarship fund if, uh, if you're so inclined. Thank okay. you. Okay, and uh, uh, Leslie, and your, your maiden name was Wu, Wu. right? Wu, yes. Yeah? Yep. Uh, I want to thank you very much for thank joining you us and, for and uh, me. helping us uh, uh, share some of your Belmont High experiences and, and, and uh, uh, reminds us of events that happened in our lives as well. Yeah. And, Only a few uh, years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and Karen, you, yes. uh, as well, you, you're, you're Herbert, right? Habert. Habert. Yep. H-A-B-E-R-T. Yep. Uh, I want to thank you as well very much for being here. Foster, yeah. as usual, it's good to yeah. sit good to down with you and uh, have a chance to chat mm -hmm. uh, and uh, about our experiences and how important Belmont High Absolutely. is to all of us. And, and again, to, to ask our viewers to please consider, uh, go to the website, uh, Alumni and Friends of Belmont High School, uh, make a contribution. Any amount uh, is, uh, uh, is welcome. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we, I think we'll, as we get along, we'll get a little bit more sophisticated, uh, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, rather than sending in a check for 50 or 100 or whatever, uh, to get people to start thinking in terms of, of just how important uh, a contribution is to the scholarship committee and uh, thinking about things like um, uh, contributions from your estate after you die, mm -hmm. okay? Um, you know, there might be a little bit more money in there and you can make a significant contribution either in the name of your class, in the name of an individual, or in your name. So uh, please uh, consider uh, uh, a donation to to um, uh, to the alumni and friends of Belmont High School, and as 20 minutes or 25 minutes have gone by in, in <laughs> yeah. an instant as yeah. it usually <laughs> does, uh, but thank you very much for viewing us, and uh, we will see you at the next um, uh, at the next uh, uh, program. Indiana, next program. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you.